You have an amazing idea and are ready to hit the ground running to make that dream come alive. While you're excited and nervous about embarking on this journey, there are a few things to consider. If you think you're ready to build a business, it's always a good idea to validate. Today, we're talking all about it. I'm Peachy Williams, copywriter and brand builder turned business owner of multiple entities. While corporate America is in my past, I've parlayed those skills into the future, focusing on growing my businesses, learning valuable lessons, and helping others do it too. What started as an idea to capitalize off my skills has helped so many to create a strong brand with actionable steps, copy, and content that matters. I created the Talk Like a Brand podcast to give you relatable, simple strategies and advice that makes you think, reflect, and implement. If you're an entrepreneur or one in the making who wants to build a strong brand with a solid foundation, you're in the right place. So let's get into it. Now, you're ready to jump in and make things happen, right? While you may actually have a great idea, the first question you should be asking yourself is, does it match your skill set? That's key in determining whether you'll be in it for the long haul or ready to throw your hands up in the air when things get tough. Just because you see someone else doing it and you think it looks easy, it's not a good reason to go into business. You'll soon find out it's a lot more work behind the scenes. There are a few reasons why you want to validate your business idea. You want to get in front of the people who need the stuff you offer. That means you need to consider the market you want to start your business in. Look for the problem you want to solve. Are there any areas where you believe you can make a difference beyond what's already out there? Next, I want you to think about the issue you're having that makes you want to start this business. Are other people having those same problems? And how can you do things better? You need this information because you want to make sure that there's an area for you. There's a niche for you. Although there's so many different brands on the market that actually have some of the same products, they all have something different to offer. That's important. As you move forward, you must know your competition. And yes, again, there are tons of brands in the same space. But again, their differences matter. And you have to consider what the competition isn't doing that you can leverage and exploit. Your research should be on similar business concepts that failed. Because if you're going to go all in, you want to try and avoid those issues too. Now think about the goals that you have, the goals that you want to attain and reach. It's always a good idea to get some type of feedback from various sources. So you can do a social media poll among friends, family, and all the friends that are not really your friends on Facebook, but they are able to give you some insight. Then you can use focus groups, go to meetup events, and get online feedback from business groups. All these sources and places can help you determine what your goal should be. And if you get no traction, maybe you need to reevaluate and determine if this is the path you really want to take. Now, if you're still on green and you're raring to go, you can start working on your brand purpose, vision, mission, and values. The goals that you're trying to reach are key. They should be smart, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. You should also start doing the work to discover who your audience is. As a matter of fact, you can't solve problems or understand pain points if you don't know who needs your products or services. This also helps form your business model. If you don't get the immediate results, that are positive, I want you to think about things, but don't give up. You may have to take a step back and make a few tweaks along the way. Just because something seems difficult doesn't mean that it can be overcome. This won't be easy, but you can do this if you're passionate about this business idea. It's important to trust your instincts because no one will know more about your business idea than you. Once you're all in, Make sure you're ready for the ride of your life. But as long as you have that validation, you're good to go. Go follow me on Instagram at The Right Mix and Color My Brands. And let me know what you think about the podcast because 
I love hearing from you. Sign up for my weekly Brand Bits newsletter at bit.ly backslash getbrandbits, dropping every Tuesday. And of course, we're on every single week. Have an amazing day. Until next time. Oh,